and you can see that the traffic light installation is solar powered ah. and it actually generates so much power that it is more than needed so the rest goes back to the grid and we have the very special near side traffic lights for pedestrians right normally all traffic lights in the Netherlands are near side you do so you don't get people crawling onto the intersection mm -hmm. but for pedestrians that was different pedestrians always had the signal on the other side of the street here they made them next to them where you cross mm -hmm. so people have to look besides them why is that because we only have four second green cycles here uh. and sometimes pedestrians would panic Mm. if they were only halfway right. and the light would already be red right but there is no problem there because the signal is a starting signal right but if you see a, as a red signal in the distance you, i i understand that you get confused yeah. so that is why they put them now on the near side you will have walked on and it will be red behind you but mm -hmm. you won't notice so right, you can right. just uh relaxed f uh, finish your uh, crossing and that's it right so that's a, also again a novelty in this town. Right. So they try things here. Here you can't really see it, but they have countdowns on the on the yellow light for cars. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, and then you can go. Sometimes when they're stood like right. this. Yeah. Oh, that's very British. Yeah. <laughs> stood like this. <laughs> you know, when the cars are, are, are stopped like that and they get a green light, the, it usually will count down from three, two, one. Again, that's not in the Dutch uh, regulations yet, so it's kind of illegal. Right. But the Minister of Transport said that's an interesting thing to do, so let's see what that brings. Right. And um, the traffic light expert here explained to me that it clears the intersection seconds sooner. Right. And every second counts in an installation like this. Right. So he was happy with it. Yeah. But they don't do it when there are no cars standing because otherwise you would see it from the distance oh i'm going to speed and make it yeah so they only do it when cars are standing still yeah. Yeah. and actually this is a main cycle route to the north and this mm. was the main cycle route to us to the east so yeah can i push the button yeah mm -hmm. you can <laughs> And you don't even have to push the button because it's not, there it's are loops underneath it. Yeah, yeah. Here, this is the modern version where you can't even see the loops because they're under the asphalt. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. See, this oh. is the near side signal for pedestrians. Yeah. And it will get red before he gets yep. the other. See, it's already red and he's it's not even red. halfway yet. No need to panic. Right. That's all accounted for. Just do not start again anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the signal timing issue is, is exceptional. really exceptional, yeah. Yeah. and it's it's something that you know doesn't really get appreciated in many no, other it's cities around the globe. It's demand driven, and it's just not north, east, south, and east, yeah. west. There's a different phasing for every direction. Whether right. you go right from that side, left from that side. Yeah. Here you can see that people going right and going left are going at the same time yeah. from different roads. Yeah. And then they go. Yeah. While they are still going. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, it's too complicated to explain almost. No, and, no, yeah, it's, it's and good. you can also not film it and then think, oh, that's the cycle. No, every cycle is different yeah, depending yeah. on the traffic. Yeah.